I joined this project in order to take care of the oral dimension of the experience. Uh, initially, we had only a drone sound effect, and we wanted to make the audio experience as immersive, as close to the environment as possible. In order to do so, we needed to capture the reverberations of the cave complex. So we went on site, we did a couple of uh, recordings. We recorded some male uh, bass voice chanting to mimic what we can imagine happened at the time. In fact, these are the sounds that you can hear throughout the experience when there's a chanting going on. And also we wanted to capture the acoustics of the place in order to apply them to the sound effects. Thus we did a uh, frequency sweep. In order to capture these reverberations, we did some on-site recordings, which involved recording uh, two kinds of sounds. We had uh, male chanting, deep bass voice chanting, and uh, frequency sweep from low to high frequencies. Uh, we recorded them both inside the echo chamber and also outside to give us two kinds of acoustics. This allowed us to capture and extract the reverberations of the cave complex and then could apply these uh, reverberations to any sounds we wanted to put into the experience. Then came the other challenge, what kind of sounds do we use? Um, uh, we focused on sounds that would support the narrative, so I worked closely with uh, my colleague Joe on the storytelling aspect, so that we could choose sounds that um, support and also portray what the narration was describing. Another part of the audio dimension was the music, and of course, back then we had no Bach or Mozart to look up to. Um, we had to imagine what kind of sounds, rhythmic sounds, would have been used. Uh, thankfully, we did find a composer who uh, focuses on uh, these kind of sounds and Neolithic soundscapes. And uh, we acquired this uh, soundtrack album, and this allowed my colleague Joe, who was taking care of the storytelling, to pick and match the relevant parts mm -hmm. in order to support the ongoing narrative. The storytelling aspect of the experience was also an area where I contributed by um, helping plan out the route being taken to the complex in order to give both narrative flow and also the importance to the respective historic um, parts of the complex as necessary. One cherished memory of this project was uh, the teamwork involved, where me, myself, uh, Heat, uh, and Joe work together to uh, work out the route, work out uh, where the pauses had to be done, where the lighting was to be made. Um, I was narrating, so uh, Joe could take timings needed, uh, Heat could plan where the camera paused until generation ended, for example. So I think that was uh, yeah, a cherished memory. And the experience itself, I think, um, can shows the passion that we have put in this.